Hi, uh, this is Liz Cook of Core Awareness, and I have the privilege and opportunity to talk with an amazing healer in uh, the Netherlands. And I want to welcome Denise uh, Blumen, I believe is how you pronounce your name, but you'll correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. I want to uh, tell you a bit about Denise. She received her uh, diploma and uh, she's been working more than 50 years. And she's a physiotherapist. She was a massage therapist. She worked in private, in hospitals, as well as in private practice. And she's been looking and studying uh, people's movement and habits and motor skills for many years. She's an expert in her field. She has a, a book that she has uh, published on her work. And she studied years ago with uh, a Japanese system. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, Alt Alton, um, called the Changery. And over time, Denise recognized that there was a lot more going on than, than what is just in massage and physiotherapy. So she is known as a bone shaman. Uh, that's how I met her. And I don't know, Denise, if you, you can correct me, but she became a Tao teacher. And she discovered the ancient uh, Chinese systems of energy flows. And she's been working with this in the combination of her physiotherapy and her healing Tao, uh, studying Chinese healing arts and becoming initiated into the Reiki three level emotional body work. Denise has done it all in the energetic flows. And she studied with many people and she has honored them by listing them for me. And I'm going to put them in the notes under our conversation. So you can see her lineage and the way that she has come into her own work through these uh, masters, teachers, educators, Denise has been in private practice for many years and um, works with the reconnection of energy treatments. And one of the things she knows how to do is lay energetic lines that reconnect us, the energy channels in our body to the earth and the universe. This piece is so important to me because I had the opportunity of meeting Denise and working with her. And it changed something profound within my own system. And I'd like to tell that story um, as we move into this conversation. Along with Denise is, a, is Desiree, and I'm gonna to probably torture your last name, uh, Borjani, who has Dao Zilin, which is uh, also a Dao practice, a teacher with the focus on effortless moving. And Desiree has been um, following me for a while, taking some of my advanced courses now. And she was, um, gave me the pleasure of connecting with Denise so that we could come together and have this conversation. So thank you so much for joining us and being part of this conversation. So Denise, welcome. And thank you for joining me. I wanna tell you before we start conversation of um, how you became a bone shaman, how you discovered the energetic flows of bone and tissue and flow and how they all come together. My work with the psoas um, has brought me to the energetic flows. I'm a Jinshin Do therapist uh, years ago. So I also studied things like five elements and basic energetic flows. So I've always been kind of energetic in my perspective of body. 
but I was teaching in, um, in the Netherlands and I had a workshop that had quite a few Taoist healers um, there. And I have scoliosis, I have a history of scoliosis. And one of the teachers came to me and said, you know, you're interested in the psoas. And I know a woman we call the bone shaman who knows a lot about bones and you have scoliosis. Would you like to meet her? And I said, absolutely, that would be wonderful. So they made an appointment for me. This was 10 years ago in 2011. And I came to your home and your studio and it was in the evening and you worked with me. Um, it was very subtle, very beautiful. You told me that my bones were really actually breathing. That was the first time I'd heard that concept of my bones breathing. And you said, you know, your bones are breathing really kind of nicely. I think your scoliosis is in your connective tissue. I think it's in the tissue and the way your body is holding that story. So I thanked you. I left. Um, I came home. And shortly after that trip, I started to have a cough. And normally I would tend to my cough in a simple way of tending to myself, nutritionally, rest, things like that. But a close friend of mine, husband, had suddenly died of a cough. So I went to the doctor. I said, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm going to make sure that I don't have whatever he had. And my doctor is very good. He's very, he's an old fashioned, more palpating, looking, feeling, hearing type of doctor. And he goes, there's something going on. He said, but it, I, I you know, it, your not, lungs are okay. There's something else going on. And I want you to have an x-ray. So I had an x-ray. Later I had an MRI. They saw a dark spot. They saw a dark spot very close to my midline, very close to the axis of my body. And it was off to the right side a little bit, which is my scholotic pattern. It's my pattern goes this direction, right? So some compression or something. And, and they go through it and they find that it is compressed tissue. And, and, and so they wanna know if there's any bacteria or anything. So, you know, they were doing all of that. And what they saw medically was tuberculosis. I had to go to an infectious disease doctor and I had to be put on home arrest because it's a contagious disease. My, you know, so I'm home with my mask on and, um, and I go to the infectious disease doctor and he takes nine vials of my blood and he tests everything that he can find and he cannot find tuberculosis. It's not physically in my body. Okay, I don't know what that means, but he said, you know, you're fine. You have certain things that we see in everybody, but you're you're fine. So I work with the compressed tissue. I'm, you know, that that was informative. I have someone really work beautifully with helping open up that and you know move and I move and play with it. And I'm now in um, I'm in Denmark teaching. And someone asked me about scoliosis and I tell them a little bit about what I know about scoliosis. And one of my uh, students raises her hand and says, you know, homeopathically, scoliosis is a myism of tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. They saw it in the field of my body but they couldn't find it in the reality of my tissue. And all of a sudden it was like, what you had brought to my bones or your awareness or your touch had brought something of a field. So I start looking at my lineage and lo and behold, I go back and I knew my grandfather's father died when he was only two years old. He died of tuberculosis. So there it is showing up in my field. Mm -hmm. 
And so I just want to thank you because it was huge. I actually did the protocol for homeopathy that's done through the Danish perspective of um, cell salts and, and homeopathic for, I went through that process uh, of taking that and clearing that out of my field and clearing uh, and so over these years, I've done a lot of clearing of my father's lineage of this relationship uh, to both the grief and where tuberculosis has shown up in, in my field. This was a journey that I didn't expect to take. Um, and it was very energetic. And I want to thank you. It was a, a really profound shift in my sense of being and my sense of connection to earth. So thank you. Thank you. Very, very happy to have you. Thank yourself. It's, uh, I already said it's always, you do it yourself. Yes. Turn your volume up a little bit if you can, so I can hear you a little better. Can you, can you, are you up all the way with your volume on your computer? Yes. And okay, good. <clears throat> Maybe a little closer than to your mic will give us a better, I can hear your voice better. Okay. No, you've disappeared. Disappear? Oh, now you're there. There you go. Yeah. Is this better? Yes, that's better. Yes. So you said, I do it to myself? What, what you is do it to yourself. Everything you do to yourself. <clears throat> That's my opinion. Yes, that's uh, your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, there's something I studied a lot, but the, the core thing for me was that I became very ill. I had uh, the, the sickness of Shyamam, in, and uh, I had to be like this and had terrible pains. Uh, from my uh, novel pains, this uh, zenu, uh, um, nerve, a pain from my nerves. And uh, so I started doing the things like I learned it in my physical therapist education, but it didn't help. Then I went into my own body and everything turned around. Yeah. So I don't have to strengthen my muscles, eh, what now the physical therapists do, like a corset, but they had to let go of the muscles, uh, uh, relax the muscles. And then I came to my skeleton. And I could feel my skeleton, and so I could. I had consciousness. I became consciousness in my skeleton, and so I could take in my consciousness my skeleton and open it up, and I am straight. Huh? So there's nothing now. Yes. It's yes. not like this. Yes. So that's the thing, what happens. Uh, it's coming from my own experience, the way I look to the uh, motoric, to the movement and all the things. So, yes. So tell, people how, tell people how old you are, if you will. 86. Yeah, it's been 86. out there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And you have a healthy spine. Yes. 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 Uh, it's I, not I, about I, age. It's not about age to have healthy bone. Yeah. No. No, but uh, it, it's because I can do this. Yes, I know. So, so I teach also to uh, relax the muscles. And uh, be in your skeleton, that's why, because I'll take Valentine. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, I can see her. Huh? 
because everything when you have an inflammation in your organs uh -huh. it and it uh, boots yes. on the skeleton yeah. in the inner head huh, does your diaphragm your iliopsoas everything inside huh, can pull when it is too uh, too much tension from the inside and on the outside it's the same with the muscles so to correct your whole position and to move you have to have consciousness in your skeleton yes i agree yes and when you have consciousness in your skeleton you can open up you can open up and every uh what was grof ook weer um every bum bum blockage grove blockage it says says that something energetic oh. blockage uh-huh not not only energetic but all also in the energy of your bones uh -huh. energy of your there are lots of levels of energy yeah that's what you know lots of levels and the bones is the lowest level in your body yes yes it's like connecting to earth you mean yeah is yes. yes and inside the bones it turns around again turn what do you mean turns around it um when you see a graphic it's 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 going very slow and when you are mental it's this huh? yes yes so this is the in your body it's the lowest right it's connected body. to the rhythms of the earth yes it's the rhythm of the earth but you have to take it you when you stand up eh, you have to have a good position of your feet yes there's a lot to tell about it but you when the muscles are relaxed there is a sort of a jump shoot a jump shoot around your uh, everything is loose okay got it everything's oh, loose. Uh -huh. it's, it's, oh, it's, it's fluid. It's loose. Fluid. you get maybe fluid very fluid. 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 so yeah. when i i put my hand here and you can, can go over your bones but I, you, your bones can go under your hand. Yes. You understand? Yes. And when my bones are going under my hand, my joints are opening up. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's how this with the scoliosis is so uh, important. Yes. Because when you can with exercises open up all these joints yes. and you can straighten them from inside with your ligaments yes. and from outside yes and, but when you, when you do something with your muscles it's only one side right and i do something with my diaphragm I don't breathe well, it pulls me in. Yes. Yes. That's so the for me, the muscles are the help of the skeleton. Okay, so they help the skeleton. They help the skeleton. Yes. There's, there has to be an uh, equilibrium. When you stand, there has to be, otherwise you fall. Right. And lots of people go because there is a lot of education here. And they go with the head first. Yeah. Then the muscles has to pull you so that you don't fall. Uh -huh. uh, and that's, that's an, an, another way of looking at your uh, movement. Yes. So I want to ask you, um, you got into bones because you were healing yourself. Yeah. 
And, and because most people think of body in that, what I call mechanistic perspective, me, yeah. you know, I move, I, you know, I, my muscles move my bones and my bones are a bag of, yeah. yeah. And, and that's what they do. Yes. So I, I, I get that. I don't work that way, but, but I'm really always telling people that their psoas is actually talking to bones, so to speak. It's, it's telling us what's also happening in our bones. Speak to me about what it is to get in your bones. How did you, uh, can you describe how you learn to sense your bones? I find most people can sense their muscles, but I have to bone tap. I have to connect them to bone, that connection. Yes, but that, that is another part of, uh, of the muscles, when you uh, relax your muscles and move your bones inside your muscles, there comes uh, another strength of energetic, an energetic strength. Okay. Huh? So uh, it is a very powerful energy, uh, but not contracting. Right. Do you know that? Yes, I do know that. It's a flow. A communication. I call it a communication. I, I'll try to react even to see. I'll try to, uh, to, to do it. Okay. So when I, when I do it with my muscles, where you the, the arms strekke, strekke, you see my muscles go. Resisting? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, now I go with my bones and there, and then track it, nothing happens. Uh -huh. And it's that's in important. your whole body. So how did you, uh, how do you sense the bone? How do you teach people, like, how do you, what, what do you say to get? I, I, I ask, I, I sense the bones first with your hands. Add to your clothes and then feel with your hands. Uh -huh. And when you can feel with your hands, then turn it around. So then I ask you to feel with your skin mm. uh, and to feel with your muscles. Mm -hmm. And then you go deeper and deeper to feel with your bones. Yes. And that in your whole skeleton. Right. So you, I can stand and I feel my skeleton, right. and I can open up without tension. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. that's another way of uh, of uh, moving. Yeah. And one of the things is um, being in your. For me, I say the one point, but that is that is an energy. Right? Just for, instead of going from your head, right? you look from your pelvis inside yeah. your yeah. pelvis. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, here here is where you create your children, yeah. and here is where men also the prostate and the uterus. You are there. Yes. That's your center. There you are. And you can go out and you can go in and you see uh, uh, the duality comes together there. Yes. Yeah. And so when I feel the two sides of myself, I feel the two sides uh, at one moment. Huh? You feel that you go with your uh, aandacht, attention. attention, you go to the one point, I call it one point, but it isn't the point, right. it's a fear. Yes, yeah, it's, I, call it, I call it knowing. There's a, there's a place of centering, um, they call it the moving center sometimes in English. It's, it's where you move from, where you express from. Like there's a place where all the cardinal planes come together 
Buddha belly. Well, well, you when it goes in and out, and you have no uh, uh, meaning. No. Uh, huh? No meaning. No, that is not. Uh, when 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 you look from that point, you don't see black. You don't see white. You see clear. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and that's and I want it in the daily life. It's not uh, uh, a thing you have to exercise every morning. And no, in the daily life, and you have to to know how to uh, relax your muscles and how to move your. These are exercises, but uh, normally. It's to look from there in your whole life. Yes. And other things happen. I can't do it all the time, but uh, it's very nice when you uh, can live like that. Yes. It feels to me like bones are about being, not doing. It's not doing. It's right. not. Uh, it is not working. Right. It's not doing. What's it's the what's not the, thinking? What what's the Dutch word for being? Zen. 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 Being yourself. Yes. Yes. That's, and that's why I I gave uh, Zoom sessions about this about this one point because. Uh, I am very concerned that people don't go, go their own path. Yes. Everybody has their own path in the world. But Google and Zoom and all these things, they take you out of it. Yes. And most of the people don't realize what happens and takes everything what comes from television from from every without uh, feeling it's about feeling without feeling what's good for me and what do i know have to do or have to manifest yes. so that's why for me but to be there it is a uh, very um, important that you can relax it's not important to be there when you have a scoliosis of your heart like this then you can relax your muscles and can be in your one point in your power huh? they can't push you away she can't push me away when i am in my one point right right i, I am in my power then right Right, and that's that's where that Aikido and the uh, uh, Taoist perspective comes in, right? Is that you're really working with an energetic the the yes. energies? Yes. Do you want to? And you about, I mean, yeah, go ahead. In daily life. Yes. And not only when you are fighting or when you are defending yourself. Right. It's in daily life. It's so good. Uh, in the, uh, when you have troubles with somebody, right. uh, it's the same. Uh, it's right. it's always it's it's not only in exercises. It, Absolutely, it's in life. It is. Yeah, it's not a study. It's not a study. Right. 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 Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it is uh, life learns you how to. Uh, when you know this, when you can do this in your life, in your, in your body. So when you spoke about um, learning to uh, get in your bones and then it's your connection to the earth and the universe um, mm -hmm. through these maybe ley lines or axis, do you want to speak about the relationship of energy flows to the bones? What, the, how you see the two, so uh, people study the energy, like Chinese medicine, right? And, you know, yeah. people study different ways of looking 
at body. So there's the energetic field. Yeah. Um, but we're talking about then something very physical, the bones. Yeah. So how do those two marry? How do those two become? Oh, it's, it's, it's the whole, it's, it's the whole. And when I uh, relax, uh, relaxation, relaxation is uh, an overgave to yourself. It's a nee, overgave. Uh, <laughs> it, it's um, a surrendering yeah. to yourself. Oh, surrendering. Ah. Surrendering to yourself. Yes. And not to somebody else. Yes. Only to yourself. Yes. Huh? I call it, we call it agency. Agency? Uh -huh. Yeah, to have agency is to have uh, like self-actualization, like the ability to show up as you. Like you yeah. Can yeah, and your path. path. Yeah, who I am. Your path, your, yeah. yeah. And your own path. And it's, but it's uh, power also. Agency means I have power to show up. I have I have internal capacity or ability to show up fully. Yeah. Whereas other people don't feel that. They don't feel they can show up. They don't feel safe enough to show up. They feel. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's not only it, but the relaxation is also that you feel your bones from the inner your fingers. Huh? That's how how you learn it. Uh, okay, tell us more about how to learn to. And this, to, to learn to to learn how to feel your skeleton, and you go uh, here and 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 see and feel, but feel from your skeleton your fingers there's not with your fingers your skeleton that's first right so first you touch your fingers yes you, the bones of your fingers bones of my fingers yeah the bones of your fingers and then you feel your fingers from your bones from the inside from the inside out yeah Ooh, yeah okay yeah yeah, you put your attention on the bone. First you find it, and then you go. Just like you have tension on, on, the, on your muscles, you can't feel the bones. Yes. Then you, you relax your muscles, that's first. Okay. And then and you feel your bones. So a lot of people use their muscle almost like bone, right? It gets very dense, the tissue, the muscle. It's very dense Acceptable. legs, for example. You know, they get really solid quadriceps. So they're they're so it's long. like a corset. Yes. Like a corset. And then you take all the joints are going together and they they grow old. New knees and new new hips. Huh? And uh, I don't like that new hips. No. And so when you open up and the earth is walking you and the earth is getting your energy through your bones because yeah. that's the vibe right then this opens up and it doesn't right uh, grow, grow old too fast right going stiff you can't do anything and when it opens up, there, there is fluid in your joints. Yeah. <coughs> Everything goes good, goes well. Yeah. And that's how the babies do it. Yeah. Do you, do you have children? Yeah. <coughs> Go back to your baby when you were a baby. Yes. Do you yeah. have children? Say it again. Do you have children? Yes, I have three adult children. Uh -huh. Three children. Do you remember when you this fist you could put the whole baby up and it was very soft yes and 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 very powerful yes that's the energy i talking about okay yes 
I call that fluid, fluid movement. Like babies are very fluid. They're, they're, yes. Their bones haven't, you know, their bones haven't met gravity to be shaped yet. And when I go into it's my own- It's not so, so, so complex. Yeah. It's simple. Yes, yes. It's, it's very simple. In Dutch, they say, they say simplicity is the correct characteristic of truth. Oh, I like that. Simplicity is the correctness. Characteristic. Connection. I, characteristic of truth. Of truth. Just the simple things. It, it's, it's all so simple. <laughs> so yeah. I know what people are going to ask, which is how do I relax my muscles? Yeah. So and find my bones. Yeah. Because that's a question they ask me a lot. I would like to know your answer. You say relax your muscles, but to a lot of people, they don't know. No, no. no. Uh, then, then I help them. I have lots of exercises and I help them. Uh, when you, and it's also um, very uh, useful first to learn them touch their own body. Okay. Feel their own body. Yes. Have a whole body. Feel it. Okay. Yeah, and then when you, you put your hands and, and you feel it, the muscles start to go. Uh, and it turns warm and all these things. So there are a lot of things who go just by themselves. Yes, that's what I like. I like people to find things for themselves. It? I like to have my students find things for themselves. To, to be able to find how to relax. So they don't have to just go to someone else. They can find it inside themselves. Always. You do it always. Everything you do yourself. Yes. Uh, it's you pick what, what is good for you or you do it yourself. But uh, you have to feel it to learn to feel your own body and your own skeleton. Yes. Uh, it's about the feeling, not about the doing. Right, right. Back to bones. All about the feeling. All about the sensing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 I feel like the joints uh, locate us, not only on like, like my sense of self is in that, those spaces. And you were talking about how when they get dense, right, and they get closed, they also get old and, and yes, they, 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 yeah, they, they can't move. So, yeah. so when you go in, do you go into the joint and feel that fluid movement or do you stay in the, in the bone? It's, I stay in the bones and when, when you open up and relax in a good position and no blockages, because lots of people have blockages in their skeleton. Yes. And when you learn to open up all the the grover, the yeah, who we call the rough vertebrae, the rough, the rough, the rough blockages disappear when you can move. Yes. When you stand on your heels with stretched knees, everything is going to be blocked in yes. your skeleton. Yeah. Uh, so. So the feet are really an important piece to, to opening up this energy in the bones. It's not only the feet. That's, that's the thing. It's also uh, when I, I don't see, when I put my pelvis like that, everything blocks. Eh? When I go like that, everything blocks. It's, it's going from everywhere. It's never one thing. Right. 
for me. It's never one thing. Everything uh, has influence, is related, is related to, to all of this. Yes. Because yes. you have to have your equilibrium. You, you, huh? you have equilibrium. Uh -huh. Yeah, equilibrium. This this skeleton, when it's not in equilibrium, when it's not, then your muscles go together to keep you stand up. Right, you're Otherwise, using the muscle instead of the energy of the bones. Uh, it's not the energy, no, it's the help. When you do, you, you, do, you don't move well, you need muscles to keep you up. Right. And you're, am, I, am I hearing you say that as you get into your bones, as you feel your entire skeleton, yeah. you're actually moving from your skeleton? You are moving from your skeleton. Yep. And the earth is moving. So uh, you, your weight uh, is going over your uh, soles. Yes. And because you weight, you goes over your souls, every joint goes its way like it has to be. Aha, uh -huh. yes. It's, it's very simple, but it's very difficult to, to, to do. Right, right. And I think of the joints like pearls on a string necklace. They all talk to each other. The joints talk um, to each other. Through the bones, yes, but... Yeah. but when the, the muscles are tensed, you yeah. can do nothing. Yeah. And when one of these, that's also with operations, eh, when one of these doesn't work, eh, of, or they are blocked, eh, up and above has to do more, more work, right. and then comes another hernia. So what do you, um, uh, what's happening more and more for young people is that they're being born with hypermobility. So the ligaments don't maintain their this. Yes. How, what have you found in these years of working with people? Because I see more and more people who are hypermobile who can't find their bones in that way because the ligaments aren't really. So uh, they can find their bones. They can still find their bones. Oh yes, they can find their bones. And because they can easily, I had uh, patients like that, because they can just easily move, uh, that this other energy, energy I'm talking about, okay. uh, is going through it. And then they have power. Okay. So it's, they still need to find their bones. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you loose ligaments or tight muscles, you have to find your bones. Yeah, tight muscles is more difficult. Yes. And you can't, you have to relax your muscles. You can't, uh, tighten your muscles, you can't feel. You can't you feel, feel your, your bones. What, I, what people tell me who are hypermobile is they can't locate in that pelvis. They can't find that place that is centered. So they can go all over and their bones look to me um, like their pelvis. One, one ilium is doing something than the other. So the SI joints don't hold the pelvis as one. Yeah, but it doesn't need. Right, so they're trying to lo I, what I call locate. They're trying to land in their pelvis as a, as a support, as and they can't because their if their leg moves, their pelvis moves separately. Each side of the pelvis moves separately. Each ilium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the other yeah. goes another. So they're actually moving from their spine, not a whole it's, pelvis. Because they don't use their hips. Lots of people doesn't lose that and uh, use their hips. They are walking like this. Yeah, yes. And then, uh, 
you have to learn everybody to learn all the joints to use all the joints yes and don't do not use your pelvis to move your leg right that's nearly everybody does that yes no i know <laughs> so yeah and uh, it's it's terrible that we we uh, didn't learn to, to go on moving like a baby. Yeah. Huh? It's while we are uh, developing <laughs> our brains too much. Yes. And not your senses, your feeling. Uh, yes, I am I'm a hundred percent with you. The kinesthetic, what's called kinesthetic sensory system yeah. is yeah, what it's I work with. Yeah. Uh, it's the feeling from your skeleton and, and the movement. Right, right. And the energy is coming, is coming and going through your whole body. Uh, let's, go let's talk a little bit about those energy flows because, <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I think you know a lot about that. I would love for you to share people like the emotion, what, what emotionally people feel safe, they feel overwhelmed. There, there is a, a flow that's also affecting the bones, right? That's also a development of the own consciousness. Okay, say more about that. They need it to be more conscious. And uh, also this blockages to, uh, to feel that you are blocked here or there and where you block is also a development of your consciousness, your whole consciousness. Yes, so think, a I, lot of people try to be mindful about something rather than sense. So you're, I'm hearing you say, consciousness is not the same as thinking. No. <laughs> Oh. Speak more about consciousness because people often think, well, if I if I hold this idea or I have the right idea or I pay attention, but it's really about something else. It's really about something else, and you can you can flop here and there. When you are only here and you don't sense, then uh, everybody can influence you from path, away from your path yes. and away from what you really are mm -hmm. and i just want to put everybody in their own on their own path not in a system no like we were babies and then, then develop mm -hmm. but we developed here with all our schools yes and never develop the other skills. Right. So what when someone when someone is starting out, how do you introduce them to this uh, conscious how to be conscious? I give four days because uh, after after each other, I give four days to uh, make them realize in their body in their body, they have to feel it, not to know it. Right. And they have to feel everything in their body. Uh, to it's it's a, the, it's not easy because we are growing from it. Right. We have a, a lot of energy here, and we take a course, and we know how the course is. Uh, but my body don't know how the course is. Right. So, and for me, it's, uh, your body has to know it. Yes. And your body is with uh, all the energies, uh, it has to be open to the energies, but also uh, be, it's not controlled, but uh, you have to be yourself in all of this. Yes, I, I find a lot of people today that I work with um, 
the control yeah interferes yeah 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 interferes like another it, like they begin to sense but their thinking keeps interfering with what they're sensing you know like is that right am i doing this right is this wrong am i you know and it's like getting past that to just sense We've got no right or wrong just what do you sense not only that but they are out of their body yes yeah. speak to that because right now in america everybody wants to be embodied and although my book has that in the title i think of it as kind of like people think they're going to to me you can't be here and not be body you are body you're yeah consciousness, oh, sure. aware of it but your body you're not your body here. Is energy yeah so talk about that what what would you tell in, me in, in your body is lots and lots of energies your 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 nerves is another energy yes your bones your blood is another energy so all these energies but at last when you uh when you are fully human, <laughs> fully human we aren't we aren't yet but when you are fully human all the energies of the universe go into the body that's why you have to prepare it for it wow and you have to prepare your body for it so there are lots of, when I have people on my couch, I open up the paths of, of energy also. Yes. And so uh, uh, your feet and your navel and your coccyx, your, your, your tail, uh, they are all um, connecting with the earth. And they are putting the energy that's not good for you. They are putting it up when your channels are open, but when they are blocked. So there is a lot of work to do. <laughs> so blocked energy for ourselves, you would still like, okay, so, so I want to open my energy channels, right? And I, and I want to be fully human. What, where would I begin? Do I still go back to the bones as my place to touch and feel and sense? Yes, you can prepare yourself to uh, fully human. We don't get that in this life. That's, 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 that's too much. That's much too much. How about you can start? You can start a little bit. <laughs> but we better start pretty soon, don't you? <laughs> I said I think it's important for humans to get going. You get going, yes. That's it. But, but the first thing is that you loosen up your muscles eh, and try to come from from your inner core or from your chi or huh? but don't make it very complicated. Yes. And it's uh, when I was worked in the hospitals, uh, the people who had uh, uh, lectures made everything very complicated so they can mm -hmm. uh, be powerful and become pump. And I had to always make it simple. Uh, you, uh, I think they don't understand themselves, so they make complicated. <laughs> here. Yeah. They're thinking about it. Yeah, and nobody tried to ask. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. So that, uh, yeah, that's my way of thinking. <laughs> simple and and start with simple things feeling yes. Feel, feeling both hands together and feeling your body where you feel yourself when i feel my both hands i feel myself here yeah uh, and, and and exercise with that and try to uh to to feel from your bones at last you can't do that in one 
you have to uh, that's that's what you uh, you have to do it yes I, oh. I start a lot with sitting and learning to sit on your bones because yeah. people sit in front of screens they drive cars yeah, and sitting and sitting with 90 degrees not like this yes exactly that's that's the here a blockage here a blockage yeah everywhere blockages yes so uh, uh, the economics, right tinos tinos they always sit like this yes so their whole body is there and they don't sense how uncomfortable that is no no they are used to it yes uh, and that's the it's very difficult for me also you have habits and you are conscious of a habit that doesn't fit your own feelings and then you start to try to don't do it anymore that's difficult <laughs> that's the path that's the path yeah. that's the path because you notice of how, how i do do something if I notice how I do do something, I yes. keep doing it because I start to sense how it's uncomfortable. Yes. And then how you think about it. Uh, how do I, what do I think? So, when you think? so in other words, if once I start to sense it, how uncomfortable I am because I'm actually in my bones rather than collapsed, right? So. Yeah then what are you talking about with the thinking? What, like, do when I you, notice how I think about it? You mean? No. When you, some, um, uh, I, I had a lesson, the words, the words you think, uh, you can feel in your body. Ooh, ooh, write that down. The words you think, you can feel in your body. Yeah. Wow. Woo, I got chills on that one. Woo. Yeah. I saw, I saw that uh, being here in, in the one point was lots of people go from their head to their one point. That's not good. It's turning around. But I couldn't get them from there to there. So then something came and I, I had several words huh, to uh, be there huh, or go there. Huh? When you go there, you go, you, you go in the, in the, in the, in the head. Eternity, you go in eternity. When you go from your head to your one point, you go in eternity. You open up, is that what you mean? Like you? Yes, you do. The, the, the no point of the uh, uh, zero. zero point is, is in and out. Huh? It's uh, from eternity to, yeah, who can say it? Yeah, you have to have no point. It's one way and the other way. It's like a gate and port. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's everywhere. Yeah, it's huh? every, so there is no... Perhaps um, it comes again, what I wanted to say, but in, in Dutch... Uh, um, is it inside? Is min oneindig, not plus oneindig. Plus, plus eternity and min, what's min? Plus. My eternity. Minus. Minus. So, 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 are you? Are, am I? Let me see if I understand you. Are you saying that as you come more into your pelvis, into this center, you are accessing something much bigger, a feeling you don't, much bigger? You never become. You are. Yeah, it's something. It's very subtle, subtle. Uh, you are. Right, you don't have to become, you are that. Yes. 
Yeah. Well, and what you say to people yeah. who are really out there, so they're, they're, they can't locate. They're like, they can feel all this energy and they're kind of spinning somewhere in the universe. We call it sometimes, we call it in America disassociation. We're disassociated. We're, we don't you know. know. You know, when somebody comes in my groups, I ask them to sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> and then they don't. <laughs> there are people that come in my in my group and they say I come here because I went with my husband's diet and I went with him a long way. So I are, I, I am out of your body and you have to take me in. That's what I did. I put him on my lap. <laughs> And once, once upon a, it's like a fairy tale. Once upon a time, I had a group, and there was some women. I couldn't get her down, so I asked her, uh, "Do you like to come on my lap?" So I put her like this on my lap, and the whole course saw her face. And then afterwards, everybody wanted on my lap. So I had this man. <laughs> That's what you can do when you are old. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, they think everything. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> What, what um, the word that I use for that is what you're doing is co-regulating. Co-regulating? Yeah. In the, in the study of the polyvagal system, the idea of how mammals regulate, how we come into being. Yeah. Uh, mama bear takes baby bear and hold yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And that allows the undeveloped. That's the function. That's the function of being mother. Yes. Yes. Earth, and then, mother Earth is also yeah. where we can go. And lots of Our mothers family. can't do it anymore. Do what? Lots of mothers can't do it anymore no. because they are here. They are not. Yeah, I know. They are not. Yes. Well. That's, that's the trauma. That's their trauma of birth, and yes. it's their trauma giving birth. So we've interrupted these natural cycles. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now we have mothers who can't mother because they were never mothered. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and that's going on. It is. And they are trying to bring bring it back, but it's a little bit, huh? Yeah. Um, me too. Yeah. I also ask them to use weight. So I might put some soft sandbags on their body, you know, to like feel ground, like to land. So yeah. let's talk a little bit in our last few moments around trauma when people are so in shock because we're seeing more and more of that, right? Through their own birth experience, they're yeah. coming in uh, through cesarean births, through induction, through we're actually coming to the earth in shock. Yeah. 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 I, I gave uh, gymnastics, birth gymnastics, a long time ago. Uh -huh. uh, that's giving birth without pain. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, but then you have to relax also, but it's a natural birth. And now they go to the hospital and they get. It's and so they're in mothers in shock and babies in shock. Yeah. They're dealing with babies who haven't grounded and then they become adults. Yes. And so. And any, then. They, yeah. And it just, I, yeah. So any words of wisdom there from you, uh, I think everyone would appreciate hearing. How do you take someone who's been never regulated, never held in that lap. I hope, I hope. You personally hold them because you're- I hope, yes. But you now in, the, in the COVID, you can't do that. But yeah. 
So in my uh, courses, shamanistic things happen. So then I have to do the things that my 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 body tells me, and then I hold them also with well, all the powers. Shamanistic things happen. Tell me a little more about that. What what are you referring to? It's why I I'm not sure I heard that right. So because of COVID, sometimes uh, because of the energy that is in the group. Yes. They can uh, let loose uh, things uh, because they know I can help them. They unconscious know that I that it's now the time in the group uh, that they can do it, and I can help them. Gotcha. And every time I, uh, I I know what to do. I. Yes, because you feel your bones, because you're in your bones and you're connected to earth. I I don't know why, but I think it's it's uh, it's uh, more more than my bones. It's everything. Yeah, uh, and it, it's also help from I don't know where, but I am helped. Yes. I, That's what I try to teach the people who study with me, mm -hmm. right, Desiree? Is that the first thing is to get in your own being, to yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, 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 not teach from here, but <laughs> be it, and then when you're be it, you'll know how to respond to someone. You'll yes. have an instinctive sense of what they need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll know it because it's yeah. you feel it in yourself. Yeah, but because you are on earth, you have to, uh, uh, yeah, to, uh, to earth your heart also. You have to earth all your... Oh, tell me that. Let's, no. let's end with earthing our heart. Is, did you say earthing your heart? Yeah. Yes, it's grounding in your heart. Oh, tell us about grounding it's, in your heart. It's grounding everywhere, also in your mental things. Grounding, it comes from grounding because you live in the duality of the earth energy. Yes. So that's where you live. When you are on Mars, it's different. And so here you have to ground everything. You How hold you ground body. your heart. How do you ground your also heart? the heart? Also the heart. I know and how. How? What do you? How do you? Follow? When you are here, when you are here, and you are feeling, yes. Then you ground the heart. Okay. And when you go down to ground, yeah, it yeah. comes from here, and from there it goes to the universe, and comes in from the universe. In my opinion. Your opinion is very valuable. <laughs> very, very valuable. Hopefully. Of your book, because you have a book. Huh? Your book. What is the title of your book? Hold it up a little bit closer to the screen. And a little closer because I can't read it from there. There we go. Bewust, bitte? Beter bewust bewegen. Okay. Lot of, lot of uh, idiotic. Uh... <laughs> hold, it up. hold it up. Lift it. There you go. Okay. I see drawings. Okay. I. I. It's beautiful. Oh, it's playful too. Huh. Yeah, it's playful. I like playing. Yes. Tell me a little bit, and then we'll stop about playing. How do you like to play? Uh, the first thing when I when I start a group, I have a T-shirt. Let's play. <laughs> yeah. it's 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 like playing to go feeling in your body and uh, and playing everything what's happened. Feel what happens in my body. Other things happens as in your body. Yes. So yeah. So that, play is everything. 
Yes, play it. Do it smoothly and uh, not make, do not make it difficult. Uh, yes, keep it simple. Keep it very simple. The correct, correct um, difficult, characteristic or so, characteristic. Yeah, characteristic. Characteristics of the truth. Simplicity. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Denise, thank you so much for this time. It's been yes, delightful. Thank you. I have learned so much and it's been so wonderful to reconnect with you. You profoundly uh, shifted my energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's been just delicious uh, to feel in myself. And that was a journey that I've been taking to uh, to open all my my joints and to pull <laughs> into my bones more and more, especially in my uh, along my spine, each vertebrae, so mm -hmm. it's more and more awake and fluid, and I can feel the wholeness. And so, thanks for being part of that. That was. I feel Thank like you very much. It was very nice to see you also. Good. And do you come to Holland uh, once upon a time or not anymore? Well, I was going to Holland uh, every year, uh, sometimes even twice a year for, I want to say 15 years, maybe more, 20 years, somewhere in there. I've been coming and teaching there. Um, oh, yeah. uh, and then COVID happened. And so I haven't traveled. Uh, we'll see what happens in 2022. Um, yes. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do love, I do love Amsterdam. I love, I have good friends in, in uh, the Netherlands. And um, yeah, I have wonderful memories and feelings about Amsterdam. I feel very at home, I feel very at home in the Netherlands. It, okay. Visit me when you come. It suits me. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. I like the humor. The playfulness, I yes, yes, there's a lot there. Yeah. There's that, that's it the humor, the playfulness, and don't make it difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the food is fabulous, and yeah, also, so, lots, yes. lots of good things, lots of laughter when I'm there, lots of laughter. yeah. When you come, you are welcome here. Thank you. I feel welcomed when I come to Holland, okay. I feel very received. You know? Yes. Yes. It's very nice. Yeah, it is. So and thank you also for the conversation. Yeah, I will send you. I will send you the recording when it's up, and you okay. can share it with people. And I'm really excited to share this with everybody that gets to meet you and 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 your profound awareness of bones. So thank you oh. so much, and thank you. Thank you, Desiree, for, for being here and helping and bringing, bringing Denise to me all the way to America. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Okay, have Bye. a good time. <laughs>